So I recently added templates to the for Vitala forum, and on here you can get a human rig template and a quadruped template. These are advanced rigs um, that you don't have to do a lot of scripting for. If I go to the human rig, uh, there's a human setup link, and it will actually bring you to Dropbox. Now this will bring me right into my Dropbox, but for you, it will the download will be here. Um, so once I download the file and I unzip it, I can uh, go to the directory where I have a project set. So uh, if I go here, this is my directory. I can browse and I would place the template at the top level of the project. I want to make sure that the folder is has .code and .data in it. Uh, so right now if I go here, refresh this, this is there. But if I were to parent that folder under another one, so put a new folder and call this uh, temp. And if I were to parent human setup under temp and then refresh here, it won't show up. So just make sure that the folder with uh, data and code is parented under the project or under another folder with data and code. So if I cut this out and put it back up here, delete this, now I'll go back here, refresh, there my human body setup is there. So I'm just going to show the body uh, in this video. It's just a quick start into how to use the templates. Um, if I go to the data here, there's a structure and there's a model. So I need to make the structure match the model. Right now it comes with its own model. This is the model. This is the structure. Um, so I want to make sure that uh, I can get this structure working with a different model. I just need to save a different model here. Uh, so if I want to make sure that I preserve the human setup that I got from the website, I can just click here and hit copy and then um, hit paste. And it'll take that whole setup and paste it again under the human setup. This might take a couple minutes. Okay, it's done. So now I'm going to drag this back up to the top, yes. And so now I have human setup one. And now I could call this after my character, so I'm going to rename this alien. And uh, I can go here and go to my model and bring in my alien. So I'll import uh, open scene. I'll bring in my model. So I want to rig this character. Um, so I'll save this as my model. I'm in the alien context, so that's fine. Um, and I'll call this um, initial. Yes, let's delete unknown nodes. And then I think it's coming from 2017. That's why there's some unknown nodes. Uh, so here's my model. Now I need to match my structure to that. So you can see the girl had a very different proportion. I can go here and uh, just scale this up. So let's say I scale it up more to where his shoulders are. Um, and then I can uh, modify freeze transformations. So now this is at zero but it's at the new scale. And uh, so now I can start placing my bones. Um, I'll go here, go to a front view, and I will place this bone here and rotate it down. And maybe just move this over and out a bit. Rotate it down. So there it is. I'll bring this back. Bring this forward. Rotate this. Okay, so uh, it's not really the best, but so there it is. Um, let's bring this forward a bit. Uh, 
this is for a hand cup, so this is supposed to go on the wrist or um, in the center of the hand. I'll just leave it there for now. So if I go to Vitella Hub and hit Mirror Transforms, it'll mirror my work from one side to the other. Now the big thing is is that all of these orientations are off. They're they're not pointing down the joint. So if I hit Orient Joints. So now this is uh, facing down my joint. Now the up axis is slightly off. I should maybe um, pull this up a bit and try hitting orient again. Uh, so that's OK. You might find that in some cases you need to change the aim up at to triangle plane and set it to self child and grandchild and um, I want the y-axis pointing up there so I'm going to go here and give it up axis to z um, <clears throat> and that'll just mean that the z-axis will point on the triangle plane and I want it to be a negative z so let's go here and give it a negative z Okay, so that's the orientation I want for my arm. You can see it's pointing out nicely from the side and goes down. The other orientation was good for a T pose, but not so much for an A pose. So now that I've fixed this arm, I have to go and fix this one. Uh, so negative X, um, I'm going to want to change this to triangle plane. I'm going to aim at self, child, and grandchild. So this one, this one, and this one is going to be the triangle plane. And it's going to use that plane to know which way the up axis should be. And this is going to be a positive uh, Z this time. It's just so I can get the mirrored behavior. So orient joints. And if I want to see what all my joints are doing, I can quickly turn on this joint axis visibility. And I can check this very quick. So let's try rotating these and make sure it, it fans out. It does. These twist back and forth it does so now I can turn off that um, so this um, is okay for the arms I'm not going to go through placing all the joints in this video this is just a quick start on how you would do it but I would have to place these joints um, I think for this model I, I might want to straighten the legs a bit better because it's a bit hard to place on that angle um, I've already tried placing the joints on this character and, and I was finding that the hips were a bit of an issue. Uh, but it doesn't, it's not that bad. The only thing is that the knee here is, is a problem. Uh, I'd have to make the knee go like that and that will cause problems with which way the pole vector is pointing. So keeping a straight leg can be better for your model. Uh, so I can mirror this at any time and orient my joints. And um, yeah, so after I have all my joints placed, let's, let's just do a bit more here. So I have my neck. Uh, let's say that's about there. So uh, what I can do for the neck here is I can go and create a curve. Um, let's say it goes about to there. Um, so now that I have a curve, I can take the joints of the neck and uh, where are they? Here we go. There's my neck joint. So I'll take the joints of the neck and the head joint and I'll select this curve. And then in here there's snap joints to curve. So I'll run that and it'll just snap my joints to that curve. And then I can hit orient joints, and they are now aligned. Uh, I've just noticed my clavicles are very off, so I'll, I'll go here and just bring this forward and up. That should be better. Um, 
yeah, to place my fingers, I could easily go here and turn on uh, snap to the volume center. And I could start just like dragging these to where the joint should be, the pivot should be. And you can see it's done a pretty good job of placing those. Um, so this one is going to be a bit more difficult. But I'll just go here, pull it there, pull it there, pull it there. And then the same for these ones. So mirror transforms, we'll update it on the other side. I can pull this here, pull this here. These are just very loosely placed, so I usually I would go in and make sure that I can make a fist once the fingers are rotated. Right now I'm just placing them, so probably can't do a fist. Ready. I'll put this one here, this one here, well, this one here, and that one there. Mirror, and then um, another thing is all my joints are not going to be oriented at all. Like stuff is pointing the wrong way, so I'll hit orient joints. So the big thing I want to check here is, you know, which way is that angle? Um, when it has an angle like that, I can just take the joint and rotate it until it's up and then hit orient joints again. And it should have pointed upwards. Uh, what am I doing wrong? So let's try this again. Orient that, orient joints. Yeah, so it seems to want to stay that way. Um, so what I should do in this case is I just need to make sure that this one is slightly up from the rest of them. So I'll just pull that up slightly. It'll still stay in the center because I've snapped to the center of the volume on. Now if I hit orient joints, it's still pointing that way. Let me double check that the right stuff is on here. So, uh, Yeah, so this, this hand has been set up for a T-pose, unfortunately. So what you have to do to be able to get this to orient properly is uh, to not set this to aim up at world. It should be to aim up at uh, parent rotate. And then that should be set for all these ones. So let's aim up at parent rotate. Um, go back here, orient joints. Yeah, so now that's um, better. As long as your elbow and your, your stuff is pointing the right way, your hand will point the right way. Um, for these fingers, though, um, what I need to do is I need to set them to triangle plane for at least this first one. So I'll select all four of these fingers. I'll go um, aim up at triangle plane. And then I'll set them all to self, child, and grandchild. So now whatever the triangle of this finger um, joint chain here is pointing up with, that will be my y-axis. So that gives me good control over how each finger is rotated. So if I hit orient joints, you can see now um, it's facing upwards like that. And now if I go here and I rotate this uh, and hit orient joint, Now that is pointing uh, the right way. So I can just rotate that into position and then fine tune afterwards. So now I can go to this one. That's pointing the wrong way. I just um, take the x axis and rotate it until y is up. I might have to go in here and fine tune the rotations after. Like it, it does look like stuff is rotating the wrong way. So uh, I'll look at that in a second. So I'll just go to this one, rotate this one so the y circle is uh, perpendicular to this plane, orient joint. Okay, so that's good now. And let's look at my pinky. 
and I want this one to be more like that. So orient joints. Okay, and if I want to see all my rotations again, I can just go here and, and see, oh, see now I can see that this one is not correct, so I want to rotate it all the way around because I want the Y to be up. So that's about right. Let's try orienting it. Okay, that's all good. So now uh, let's just look at the attribute editor here. Um, that This one usually doesn't have any changes, but this one will. So that I want to make sure is zero. That's zero. Next one. So here you can see there's definitely some offsets that need to be set to zero. So now this is a straight finger. I'll go to this one. Those are fine, but these have some slight offsets, so I'll set them to zero. And this is fine, but these have some... I'm also, I'm selecting this joint and I'm pressing down on my keyboard to get to the next one. So here, press down, down, and this one just has a slight value there. Okay, so after I do that, I can hit Orient Joints again. Now, um, I've, I've made the changes to these joints, but these joints over here don't automatically get those changes, so now I have to go and put Triangle Plane on these ones. So I'll go here, set aim up at triangle plane, set it to self, child, and grandchild. So again, oops, that's the wrong one actually. So I don't want triangle plane for these ones, I want it parent rotate. So if I go back to these, this one I set to parent rotate, and this one I set to triangle plane. So now I'll go back here, go to this one, this one, this one, this one. I want to aim up at triangle plane, and I want it to be self, child, grandchild. And with that set, um, I just want to orient my joints to see what I get. Um, and also I'm going to mirror transforms because I changed it slightly, and I'll orient my joints. So what I should get is the Y is facing the wrong direction, and uh, but X is facing the right one because that's already been set to negative X. So let's go here. And uh, all I have to do is set the Y to a positive Y instead of a negative Y. Ooh, wait, no. Sorry, negative Y is actually correct in this case. It's this one that needs to be set to, to Y. Because it's, it's just taking its parents rotate, and its parents rotate is facing the right direction for a mirrored rotation. So this one has to be set to Y so it matches exactly the parent, not negative Y in this case. So orient joints. Okay, so uh, to test what I've done here, I can go here and I can select these two joints. Uh, whoops, sorry, these two joints. And as long as they mirror, and they do, uh, that's the right rotation. And I can undo that. Okay, so this is my new structure for this character. Um, th this stuff is not set correctly, but I could just go here and like move uh, the pelvis. Let's say it's going to be down to there. My root will... Usually the locator for the root, I put at the same axis as the legs, so that when he bends over, nothing pulls up. So I can go here, snap it to there, go here, snap it to there, and there's m m the root. Now uh, everything is maybe needing to be shifted forward a bit, so we can just shift that. <coughs> Again, my legs that I haven't really placed uh, correctly. I should I'll go over it actually because it's not too much time now. I thought this was going to take more time. So this one is about there. This can go to the side a bit more. Mirror transforms. And uh, this should be at the center of my foot. So about there. Uh, let's put it up a bit and probably lean it towards the front more because that's kind of where the joints pivot. And uh, let's rotate it like that. And 
let's pull this forward like that. There, transform orient joints. So I want to pay attention to where my Y is facing. You can see it's kind of pointing out that way. Uh, I kind of want the Y to point the same way as the foot. So I'll go to a, a top view. And um, you can see the Y is going off that way. And the that's going that way. So if I just shift this maybe a little bit to the side, it's going to look a little bit strange. My model might need to be fixed. Um, maybe pull this one a bit to the side this way. Orient joints. This is my knee joint. So that's getting a little bit closer to where the foot is. Um, let me just check how much space I have. See, it's already leaning very much to the inside, so I'd have to pull this out. Um, There, that's probably good. So let's go to top view. So yeah, now you can see the Y here uh, is almost this, you know, parallel to my foot. So let's mirror transforms and orient. Um, not sure if this is right. Some stuff might have gotten changed, so let me just check what's going on here. Yeah, for some reason this is aiming up at world. Again, they expected straight forward legs, so let's set this to parent rotate. And set let's set the world up axis to none. And we'll do the same here, parent rotate, x axis to none, Vitella hub, orient joints. Okay, that's almost right. The only thing is that the Y should be um, the opposite direction. <coughs> Which is surprising to me because this one's going negative, but uh, let's just set this to a negative Y. All right, so something's weird going on there. Let's just try rotating these. Yeah, see, that's not the rotation we want. So I'll go back here. Um, let's try a y-axis for the world up axis. Should have worked. Orient joints. And let's try a positive y orient joints. Okay, so now it's where it should be. If I go here and rotate these two together, it rotates. Um, actually, it's not quite rotating in the right way. That one's rotating forward. Uh, so I guess it was right. Let's check this back to none. Orient joints. And now let's rotate these two together. So that's actually right, uh, which is surprising. Let me try rotating it this way. No, see, that's not right. Oh, I get it. This is supposed to be negative x. I don't know how this was messed up, but it was. So there we go. That's good. That's good. That's good. <clears throat> so the big change for this knee that it was broken, I had to change the x from x to negative x, and um, I had to switch it to parent rotate instead of world. So parent rotate and negative x. And now when I rotate these two together, I'm getting the mirrored behavior that I want, which is good for the fk leg. Um, one of the things that's broken in this version of the rig is that, you know, these won't rotate together. Um, which is not right. Um, and hopefully I'll get a new template out soon that will have
have it rotating together. Okay, so now we have these little balls on the ground. The first one here is just the locator of where the ground is. This is telling you where the yaw in is. So this locator we got to put on the side of the foot, probably right here. This locator we got to put on the side of the foot over here. This locator is the heel, so we got to put it on the heel. And that's that. So Vitalhub mirror transforms. So that will uh, take care of our feet pivots. Uh, these hand things uh, probably should go somewhere around here in the middle. Uh, this hand cup was done by someone else. So not, I, I might even just like turn off that part of the script if I were doing it. Um, but it might work, so let's just try it. And also I want to turn off my joint axis visibility. Okay, so this is just a quick, rough, very rough um, positioning of the joints. And so now I'll go to here, curves, vitella, structure. And I want to delete my model out of this file and just have the structure like this, export. I think these locators here could probably be removed. Um, but they might be used to position the spine controls. Uh, but they might not be used anymore. These rigs get updated or being updated so frequently that I had an old spine setup that wasn't working for animators. And I, I removed it, but I forgot to remove these locators. So these might not even be necessary, but I'll just leave them there for now. Uh, export my structure. All right, so I have my model saved off here. I have my structure. And something I'm going to do really quick before I, I run the scripts is I'll select the, the root joint, I'll select the, uh, the body, and then I'll go uh, to rigging, skin, bind skin, and I'll do select, no, I'll do joint hierarchy, and I'm going to do heat map. And I'll do a 0.5 fall off and apply. I'm not going to paint weights here. I just want to show how to store out your weights so that it gets brought in during the rig build. So here is the arm going up. It's really awful. Uh, but I'm, yeah, for the scope of this video, in another video I'll go in and maybe paint weights and show some techniques to improve it. But for this one, it's fine. Okay, so... Yeah, so now we have skin weights. So what I'll do is I'll select the body, hit, go to the skin weights data here, and export it. So that exported my skin weights on this mesh. And um, and I've already saved out my version here. So that was uh, recently saved. If I'm ever unsure, I can always save a WIP file. So I just saved a WIP file just so I can get back to it if need be. Um, so yeah, now I'm ready to hit process. So once I hit process, change not run, uh, run process anyways, yes. It's going to go in, bring in the model, bring in my structure, start building all the controls. Um, and then uh, I can start to do stuff. Well, it's now bringing in the skin weights. So there's my skin weight. So now I actually have, you know, the start of a finished rig. I still have the snapping on here, so I should turn that off. Uh, oh, okay. So something happened here. Right. So let's just turn weight bendy off for a second. Let's hit process. Yes. I just want to see if my skin weight's exported properly. Yeah, weight bendy brings in the bendy arms. Uh, waiting. And eyebrow patch I don't really need because he has no eyebrows. You'll need to know a little bit of scripting to go through those and see what they're doing. Yeah, so the, the waiting here is not right. So I don't know what it was doing, but let's go back here. 
Let's load in our model again. We'll go here, select that. Now I just want to see if maybe there's something wrong with the hierarchy. That's why it didn't know, but it looks like it's fine. So I'll go to joint pelvis again, the root joint, select the body, skin, bind skin, heat map, joint hierarchy, apply. Let's try this now. That's weird. The heat map usually does a good job of finding that. Not sure what's going on there. Um, oh man, so what? <laughs> Let me check what the weighting's like here. So we'll go here and we'll go to rigging weight painting and I'll go to my toolbox and check leg knee all oh, that worked let's go to the arm clavicle arm Woo! didn't even take those that's strange huh. so let's delete the history on that History. Let's go here. Let's try skinning it one more time. Maybe there was something wrong because I just noticed there was a blend shape left on it. There we go. So I think the blend shape that was on it was causing that, and I'll go clean up that history. Um, so Vitala. Um, so now I go back here. Skin weights. Export. Takes a couple seconds, so then it's done. Should have done all the way down to the fingers this time, yes. Okay, so now if I go to code and I hit process, yes. So now it's going through and building the whole rig. Okay, there's something wrong in the hide script, probably a group that's missing or something. Okay, so now we we have pretty much a finished rig here. Um, if I go up to view to body, there's these options on the side here. If I go to my arms, I'll notice that uh, the bendy geo is not actually body C, it's body geo, so I have to change this to body geo. And then uh, if I go to the legs, this should be body geo. You can actually set the amount of joints in the bendy here and, and stuff like the fall off distance of, of the bendy setup for the weighting. Uh, but for now, we'll just leave that like that. Uh, so all this should be good then. So then I can go back to code and turn back on weight bendy. And I'm just going to turn off this height, this finish. Well, I'll turn off hide. Default values should work, add resets, fix rotate orders, that should work, and probably fix geo layer, so let's try it. So the skin weights are coming in, it takes a couple seconds. Now the bendy arm takes a while. And on this character, it's actually going to take a bit longer because he's got quite a bit of topology on his arms. Uh, so right now, it's probably doing it's doing the arm, so it's doing the the bicep, and then it will do the elbow, and it's doing the left side one right now. And now it's uh, doing the elbows. Uh, so this takes a while. Now it's doing the legs. But um, so the big thing to remember with this is when you're doing your weight painting, you want to make sure you weight paint without the bendy arms present. 
um, because the bendy arms will be calculated automatically for you and it, it saves a bunch of time. Uh, you can always like bake out the weighting once it's done. So just export the weighting after the weight's done and then turn off weight bendy. Uh, so you're not calculating it every single time you build the rig. Uh, but I, I like to leave it off just in case I change something. I, I like having those bendy arms weighted procedurally every time. Okay, so fixed geo layer didn't work, and it's probably because it's calling something custom in here. Um, I, yeah, my model group isn't named MD, so I'd have to change this to model. So, um, yeah. Uh, and also the hands have gone to world, so this is uh, so that they can have it in world space, but you can just turn that off here. Um, and the feet have probably gone to world as well. So I can switch that to zero, and now it's back to the original model. Um, it gets set to world automatically because that's how animators prefer it. They want stuff to move back and forth in a straight line, and then rotate it as they need. Uh, so my bendy arm should all be weighted, and this should be working. Um, neck joints should be good. It's all good. My eyes, I'd have to go in and weight them to the head. Right now they're just sitting there and my head is not weighted properly. I'd have to paint that. Um, but the big thing you'll notice right now is that, you know, the curves aren't um, fitting the body properly. There's a couple things that we can use to solve that. Um, you can just like um, select the controls and uh, where is it? Right now it's in symmetry or something. Let's turn that off there. So I can just scale this up and um, to save this change that I just made, I go back to Vitala, go to data and go to control CVs, export. So then the next time I build this character, it'll have uh, this control in that place. The other thing I can do is I can select the body, select the control and go to the hub and controls and there's project curves on mesh, so I'll run that. So that's just projected the yellow curve onto the mesh. And so that gives me kind of the outline of what the body is. And now I can scale uh, controls at center. And I can uh, fix sub controls. And so now that's a really easy way to get the controls kind of uh, following the body. So I'll go to this one, go to that one, project curves on mesh. Um, this one didn't work, uh, probably because it's inside the body. So I'd have to go here and uh, scale this up first, and then go here and here and run that. So there, that now it works. And then if I go here, um, scale controls at pivot and fix up control and so now i have the control kind of following the body right, uh, very nicely you'll find that uh, like in cases where it's inside the body let's say we're like that uh, instead of using projection you could use uh, closest point so that'll snap it to the closest points on the mesh and then we just have to select it and scale it up and fix the sub controls, and it's good. You'll notice that snap to closest though can get this kind of, uh, it, it, it doesn't do as good a job as projection of getting a straight line. So I just have to scale this down and then fix, uh, go back up to object and fix sub control. So that's how I would position, you know, controls. And so then after I would go here, go to my control CVs. I always have to make sure to either save a whip or, or export stuff. So I want to export my control CVs. Um, and uh, I want to export my control CVs. And I'm going to rebuild just to show that it is saving it out. But I'm going to turn off weight bendy this time just so it doesn't take as long to process. Yes. 
So initially, the change that I made won't come in until it hits the import control CVs. There, so it hit import control CVs, and now it's bringing in the skin weight. All right. So there we go. So those changes I made are now back. Um, and uh, uh, oh, so one more thing I wanted to show is that all the code to build this rig is basically in here. So like, for example, if you want to know how to do an IKFK setup, I have rig IK arm. You can see that that's working on joint arm, joint elbow, and joint wrist. And then I have FK arm, which is also working on joint arm, joint elbow, and joint wrist. And uh, these two right here will build two rigs on top of those joints, but it won't necessarily set up the IKFK. Um, but the IKFK is down here at attach IKFK. So all you have to do is, uh, you know, uh, specify the control that you want it to be on and you can connect um, you create an attribute so in this case I'm creating IKFK attribute on CNT hand so on this control I'm creating uh, where is it sorry it's the gear on this control I'm creating IKFK and so then all I do is I connect that up to joint arm switch. So if I go to joint arm left, and I go to my channel box, this attribute is creating, getting created automatically whenever more than one rig is put onto one joint chain. So um, that switch attribute will switch between these two parent constraint inputs and scale constraint inputs inputs and it'll also change the visibility of the rig so if I go here and switch it to FK it's now showing the FK setup and here it's showing the IK setup so that's how you would do an IK FK kind of setup um, uh, yeah so that you can get into this stuff more in depth just by looking at the code here a lot of this stuff up here is just getting options from from here so like if, if I want to know for my bendy setup what the bendy geo is called, in my code here I have to say, um, sorry, not rig bendy, but weight bendy. Uh, and weight bendy's here, so weight arms. Here I get the geo. So this geo here is getting option bendy geo in arms.bendy. So if I were to look here, arms, this is arms dot bendy and bendy geo. So here it's arms bendy bendy geo. So this gives me the geo name, and then that gets fed into this transfer weight attribute uh, class to be able to transfer the weight from the arm joint onto the bendy joints. So this is the arm joint, and this is the bendy joints. Um, I won't get that in depth for this video, but. Um, all, all of the stuff you need to do this setup is in the script. So you could, just by renaming these attributes and stuff, apply it to a different character or a different setup. Um, thank you for watching. This has been a quick guide to um, the templates that I've provided on the forum. Thank you. Bye.